What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Infinifactory and we're back with the resistance We're going to complete hopefully all the rest of the training missions that these guys want us to do That way we can really start fighting back against our alien overlords But to be honest, I mean they treated me pretty decently, you know We had that chicken that one time and you know there was always, you know, dog food available So uh, it was good Holy crap, you can build on the front of pushers. Can you have it like extend and retract? Oh man, that changes everything. I didn't know you could do that. All right, we're gonna have to try that. Anyways, let's go do some more training puzzles. Let's see what we got. So we got teleporter experiment two, three, and four, and then these three puzzles. I'm sure we'll be able to get through all these pretty quickly just because they are relatively simple. Okay, we've got, we've got nine, we've got a stack. Okay, and then there's a teleporter here. Perfect, and oh, it comes in as a nine. Right, but as soon as it goes into the teleporter, it's going to get disassembled, right? So this is actually pretty easy. I think all we got to do is lift it up. Um, oh, no, that's not that's not good. We got to just bring it out first and then lift it up. And then just drop it in kind of from the top. And you know what? Actually, can we just... We'll just... Is it, you know, let's bring this right over here first. And then we'll just go like that. Okay. Actually, you know what? We can probably... We can actually probably just do this, even. And it'll just, it'll just hack it piece by piece, maybe? Actually, no, it has to be lower. This might actually just work. Because I'm thinking it, it might just push one piece up, like the top corner, and then it'll push that rest of that row, and then the thing will drop back down again. Right? And then it gets, see, perfect. That's awesome. Excellent. And then we'll just reassemble it on the other side. We're going to actually bring the pieces a little bit away, and I think actually, if I think about this right, we should just be able to place this like this, and it should automatically make the pattern, right? Because if it goes here, watch, it should... The pieces will fall in, fall in, then the next piece will fall on top, and then that piece will get shoved, right? See, like this, perfect. And it should eventually just make the pattern. Perfect. So now the question is, how do we weld the whole thing once we've, we've made that pattern? Um... That's, I guess, oh, we use the extending welders on the pistons. Perfect. That's what we'll, okay, so can we, so how does this work, I guess, is the question. We'll just, let's just see if we can even do this. So we got uh, a, a, a piston like this, and then, like, does this, will this whole thing move? I mean, that's going to be, that's going to be so cool. Okay, is this, is this the way to do it? I mean, it said in the thing you can, okay, that works. That's so cool. All right, so we just need to do it like that, maybe? No, it's a little bit early. Can we put a delay on this? How, how do we delay something? Can we put like a, maybe a pusher that goes to another sensor? Does that add a, a little bit of a delay? We just need like a fraction of a second of a delay here. Okay, so what, what about this? Like, does this delay it at all? Or is this just, I wonder if this is just the same stuff. Okay, here we go. This is really, really cool. Okay, no, that doesn't do anything. That's perfect. That's great. Let's uh, put this here. Okay, let's put a block on it then. Come on. Perfect. Okay, so that does delay it just a little bit. And uh, then we need to eject it off somehow. All right, so this is actually really cool. All we needed to do was just put this upside down conveyor piece on it. I can't believe I didn't realize all this piston can be attached with stuff before. It would have been, look at that, that's so flawless. It would have been so much easier for so many other assemblies. Like I can just think of a ton of places where that would have been a useful mechanic to have and to know how to use. Um, anyways, we gotta go up here. This is pretty easy stuff. And then we'll just uh, go along here. And we'll just do we'll just do some upside down conveyor stuff, I guess. All right, so this should be cool. That's awesome. I can't believe like the piston mechanic. That's so cool. The amount of possibilities we could have had in previous assemblies where you know welders were always static. Like static welders was just like look at that. It just ejects it. Perfect. Brings it over. Look at that. Uh, totally screwed it up. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just we'll fix it. There we go. Should be good. Fast forward a little bit. Look at that. Perfect. Up. Perfect. Oh my god, I, I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go like this. There we go. Now it should be perfect no matter what. Up, eject. Perfect. Okay, so now let's increase the cycle rate to max and let's see what happens. Oh my, what? Plus like 20? Are you serious? Okay, so they're just continuous. Does that affect things? Doesn't seem to. They get, there's a max speed there regardless okay so that's good 
And what about this? Is this okay? Yeah, no, this is fine. Oh, that's sick. That's so cool. I just, I, I almost want to go back and redo so many other puzzles now with, like, stuff like this on pistons. Unless maybe that's just a new mechanic that they just added now. Alright, how many we got left? Four left? Let's just fast forward here. Perfect. Okay, so great on the cycle score. Uh, pretty bad on the footprint and pretty bad on the block score. Awesome, so let's do a teleporter experiment number three. Oh, are you serious? One spawns on one side and one spawns on the other side? How are we supposed to... All right, wait, what? We have to, like, alternate? I guess we drop in from the top. Okay, we're going from the top. We gotta go in from the top on one side, because then when it comes out, it'll go in from the bottom. It'll, like, it'll come out on the bottom. So that's that's actually pretty easy to do. Okay, so we'll do... Well, not really the top, I guess. We can just go in from the side either way. Um, but we can go like this, and then go like uh, that, I believe. And if we go up... Oh, of course we're off. Why would... It was lined up before. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. We'll go like this. Right, and if we go up... And up, like there. And we'll just do an upside down conveyor. Alright, so that should... We don't even need that. We can do it like this. There we go. So that should work, right? So that way they get fed in, and the other ones should drop out, and we can deal with them like this and they'll get assembled over here and I mean that should that should be it right and then we just weld them up with a little weld attachment and they'll just get shunted off like that so when the other pieces come out they come out they get stuck they get welded and then they go in and then we just need to really do the same thing on this side I think and uh, hopefully it'll all work out so here we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go in straight three three up on the conveyor like, I think this is I, I don't I don't know if what happens when maybe they're gonna get stuck I'm kind of worried they're gonna get stuck on each other uh, but I really I don't know I'm hoping this is it all we have to do all right weld here no we can just do it like here it doesn't even matter right just like that and then that piece perfect right so I mean this one will do the same thing right the white goes up Oh, it, okay, it shoved that one out of the way. That's not a problem, though. We can actually just fix that like that. I don't know how this is going to work on a higher cycle score, to be honest. I don't think that it'll work at all. Okay, so that one gets falls down. That one goes through. That one falls down. So they are in a bit of a sequence. That's good. So that one's making products, and this one's making products. Perfect. All right, so let's just try jacking up the cycle score to max and see what happens, like the input rate, I mean. All right, so there we go. Uh, it's not gonna work. There's no way. They're too. They're all too close together now. Yeah, it's literally just gonna pour through from this side and not let a single one from this side. It can only actually handle a plus one input rate, just because I don't know how you do that faster. Like you only have one teleporter. How do you sequence it so that? I don't like. I don't understand how you do it faster. I really don't. And how are we doing? Is it? It's doing okay over here. Like it's building stuff. Yeah, I honestly don't know how you do it faster, because you can't, like, communicate through the teleporters. Do you just store a bunch of one and then store... I don't... I really don't know. I don't know. We'll see what other people get, I guess. Here we go. We'll just speed through the rest of this. Okay, so actually, uh, ahead of the, the big spike, I guess, on the cycle score, right on the footprint, right on the block score, it's an interesting puzzle. All right, we've got one more teleporter experiment, and then we've got three more puzzles, I guess, in the training section. We'll, we'll try this last teleporter experiment. Uh, oh boy. Oh goody. Okay, so we have to make like a pattern. And let me guess, they all come... Oh no, it actually... Oh, great. Wow, this is gonna be fun. Okay, well I think this is the same as the vertical one, except just a little bit more difficult. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Uh... Is this gonna work? Maybe? I wonder if I can just do that, and it'll eat the whole thing eats that no it doesn't that's that's useless okay all right so we've got a sort of printing scanning set of conveyors here it's pretty simple stuff i mean it's just gonna it loops the thing past it breaks three pieces in sends the next three pieces in sends the final three pieces in i mean it's kind of in a weird order because it goes like from one side i don't know we'll see we'll, we'll figure out how to reassemble it 
hopefully in some decent order. And we'll do the same thing, just reassemble it with a, uh, a welding stack, I think. I mean, I think we just have to assemble it into three strips of three and then put the three strips together on the other end. I think that's what we'll do. So here we go. We'll let this come out here. Uh, that's perfect. Perfect. Good job. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're good on the ground here. So here we go. So it's going to come out. And we just need to basically assemble each strip of three. So here we go. So one, two, whoops, uh, one, two, three. And this will assemble each one pretty much individually, right? There we go. Uh, it's welding them all together. That's not good. Hold on. There we go. And then we'll just have to like stack them like together like this, I think. Is that all we need to do? One. Of course not. Of course they're out of order. Well, can we fix it on this side? All right, so I've made the most complicated way to bring this stupid pattern through, and I'm sure there's a much simpler way to do this, which of course I'm, I'm absolutely just failing on. But regardless, we've got the pattern and we're gonna take it in rows one, two, and three. So this is a little bit ridiculous and a little bit stupid, but it takes the first row on the first pass, then it passes the conveyor over and takes the second row, takes the recycled third row, brings it around and underneath and shunts it back in. But actually it doesn't matter because it actually takes the first row off the next one and uses that row for the next one after. It's just completely messed up, but you know what? It's gonna work. We're just not gonna be able to increase the cycle rate at all. But I think it'll work, and we should see the proper design coming out here. So let's just see. Perfect. Perfect. And fantastic. That's amazing. All right, and then we'll just set, we'll weld this together. This is easy mode now. I, I mean, that was a little bit difficult of a challenge, that's for sure. But, you know, not, not too bad. Nothing we couldn't handle, kind of, at some point-ish. All right, here we go. Uh, perfect. Perfect. Just screwing up everything. Now this should work, right? We're finally gonna we're finally gonna do something. Perfect. Oh my goodness, what a what a challenge. Here we go. Yeah, definitely can't increase the cycle score though, because it'll I, at least I don't think so. We can try it once. Plus two seems to work. All right, perfect. Let's go through. All right. What a great assembly. These teleporters really, really are cool. They make everything a little bit more interesting. Oh, perfect. Right on the cycle score, so plus two. So I feel like a lot of people did it kind of the same sort of way. Footprint, pretty good, actually. That was the best the best puzzle of the thing so far. So what are these other three puzzles? Oh, these are actually building products. So I think we're going to save these for the next episode. I'm glad to get through these teleporter experiments. They were really, really cool. I really like them. So these next two puzzles are actually building products, I think. Let's just check it out. But I think we're going to get to them in the next episode. Um, oh, you guys are actually alive. That's cool. So yeah, this one, we have to actually build a robot. Are you? Oh my god. We're going to have to bring a robot through a teleporter. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh my god, we've invaded the alien facility. And we're gonna steal the robots. This is so cool. But anyways, we're definitely gonna save this for the next episode. It's gonna be a lot more difficult to dismantle an entire robot and put it back together in the proper order. Uh, so definitely gonna have to save that for the next episode. Make sure, of course, you let me know what you think of this series in the comments down below. And uh, of course, let me know if you have any suggestions for building stuff better. It seems like, you know, this piston technique and other techniques, I've just you know, really, really terrible that I should have learned a long time ago. But make sure you hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.